to open a trumpet case, first make sure that it's on a flat and level surface. Then make certain that your latches are going to open up, undo each of them, and lift the top. You may also run across the sideways case latch, uh, almost always on a Yamaha trumpet. What you want to make sure of in this case is that you can read the word Yamaha along the front, put some pressure on the inside of each latch, and open up. The parts of the trumpet are the mouthpiece receiver, lead pipe, first, second, and third valves, the main tuning slide, and corresponding to each valve we have the first valve slide connected to the first valve, the second valve slide connected to the second valve, and the third valve slide here in the back which is connected to the third valve. Uh, on the main tuning slide and the third valve slide we have what are either referred to as spit valves or water keys. We also have the bell and the bell crook. To assemble the trumpet, remove the trumpet or cornet from the case carefully, handling by the back of the valve casings. Remove the mouthpiece and place the mouthpiece into the receiver here. Uh, there is uh, no need to place any excessive force uh, on the mouthpiece when you're putting it into the instrument. Uh, if the mouthpiece does happen to get stuck, make certain to bring it to your music store, your local music store. Uh, there's a special tool to use uh, that is uh, quick and almost always free of charge. Also, when storing the trumpet or cornet in the case, make certain to not lay books on top of the instrument as this can put pressure on the top here and possibly cause some valves to stick. To oil the valves of the trumpet or cornet, you want to do it about once, maybe twice a week. Um, to oil them, you want to find the valve oil inside your case. Go ahead and unscrew the cap before you start disassembling the trumpet. Unscrew the top valve cap of the first valve. Slowly and carefully take it all the way out of the valve casing. Make sure when you, when you do that that you try to take it straight out. Make sure that you're not going at any sort of angle when you're taking it out or the piston can get bent. So go ahead and take that all the way out. Just a couple of drops anywhere on the piston. When you replace the valve, there should be a number, one, two, or three corresponding to the piston number make sure that that number is facing toward the mouthpiece end of the horn. So I have my number one facing toward the mouthpiece end, putting it slowly and carefully back in straight down and rotate until it clicks into place. Rescrew the valve top cap and give it a few movements up and down and repeat with second and third valve. To keep the slides on the trumpet and cornet moving, all you have to do is move each slide maybe once a month, in and out just a couple of times. Main tuning slide, first valve slide, and notice when I'm moving the first valve slide I'm pressing down on the first valve. When I move this third valve slide I press down on the third valve, and the same with the second. Now, if you notice that any of the slides is dry or making um, a light scraping sound when you move it in and out, you know that it's time to grease the slide. I like to keep a paper towel handy for this. Most slide grease that you'll see in the case comes in this chapstick style tube. Just Move it out a little bit, take your slide out, get a little bit of grease on each side, really not much is necessary, and 
move it around on there a little bit with your fingers. And this is when the paper towel gets to be handy. So after you've done that, work each side of the slide in and out of its respective tube. And then go ahead and replace it. And then wipe off any excess grease. On some trumpets and cornets, you may find a different style of water key or spit valve. These are called Amato water keys and they require a little bit of valve oil as well. Uh, not very often, perhaps once every month or two, and all that's required is that you take your valve oil, invert the trumpet, and put just one drop of valve oil right in the little hole in the bottom of the water key. Move it in and out a few times. Do that with both water keys. Once again, this isn't very often, maybe once every couple of months, but it is important.